Hello everyone, <clears throat> it's Elena with All Things by Faith. Um, they're just having me do a quick video tonight. <clears throat> they wanted me to touch on several different things. Um, first of all, I want to thank a shout, give a shout out to all my new subscribers and all my new clients. I'm really excited to be working with all of you. And um, I, they, they wanted me to explain like. I used to be able to just do videos on my phone. I'm still experiencing opposition with technology. So I'm going to make an appointment this Saturday and um, take my phones into the AT&T dealer and see what I can do to fix them because I'm used to just being able to start a video wherever I'm at or whatever's going on. and. Um, if I'm driving or whatever at a park and I, I can't do that currently and it's really frustrating so I have to like talk into my phone and take notes and um, and then come home and use my tablet to make the video so that's what I'm making the video on right now I guess it's more of a um, it's more of a blog I guess or not a blog I don't know it's <laughs> it's a message but there's no video <laughs> So, anyway, um, so that's that's what's going on with that. Um, that's why I didn't make another video yet. Uh, only made the one so far this week. And then, so they gave me a couple songs for today, and um, one is "Graves into Gar Graves into Gardens" by Elevation Worship. It's a really powerful song. I really enjoy it. Um, had a lot of powerful visual messages from that song, and they just wanted me to um, share uh, that, and I'll put the link below. Um, and if anybody feels so inclined to go and listen to that, they, they can. And then the other one, they actually gave me a message with for, for my viewers, and it's, um, or my listeners, <laughs> um, my subscribers, we'll put it that way. Um, and it is um, Together. It's called Together by King and Country. And I really like this song. And I know because I, I heard like a couple months ago on one of the stations I listened to, um, they were talking about this song. And this song was actually written a while back. And it was released on an album this year. But way before the virus and everything started up and lockdown and Corona Geddon, as I like to call it, before that started. So, um, and it just shows how inspired um, this band is because it's an amazing song. And one of the lyrics um, in the song says, If we stand, we will stand together. And if we fall, we will fall together. And um, the my angels um, wanted me to convey to you guys that um, that they mean this, that the angelic realm, the other side, the light side, that they mean this, that they will stand with you, um, and that we will not fall. And regardless of physical life or physical death, they will stand with you in life and they will escort you to the other side of physical death. And so if we stand, we stand together. And if we fall, we fall together. But in the end, we're always going to stand together because we're fighting for truth and righteousness. We're fighting for the light side. We're fighting for Heavenly Father's heavenly realms. And we are eternal beings. And the light side always wins the war. They wanted me to say all that exactly like I just said it. So so I did. Um, and then the next thing they wanted me to talk about was they want me to teach a little bit about energy healing. And um, a little bit about what it is. And a little bit about how you can do it. It's... It's prayer and it's um, uh, it's also spiritual warfare and um, they want me to start kind of mentioning this in some of my videos and teaching some techniques that everyone can use um, so so let me see how do I go about explaining this so um, so basically I'm gonna start with like frequencies like um, one of my viewers uh, had asked, one of my subscribers had asked me to elaborate on the frequencies for um, like keeping, you know, deadly snakes away or deadly spiders away and stuff. And I said that I would do a video about that um, 
and they wanted me to that's one of the things they wanted me to touch on so you don't have to know what the frequency is the angelic realms know what the frequencies are you just have to ask um about the you just have to ask for the frequencies to be used in whatever situation you're in um, to drive the snakes away, to drive the deadly spiders away. And you have to understand, this was something I really didn't understand um, until my last couple of classes with Julie. Um, and I think she's talked about it in some of her uh, videos, like over the last six months, but I'm not sure. Um, but everybody and everything, all living organisms have agency. So whether it's human beings, whether it's animals, whether it's amoebas, like whatever, everything has agency. And um, so animals can choose to work for the light side or they can work for the dark side. Um, even trees and rocks and um, anything that's alive or that has energy and you may not think a rock is alive but it 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 is it has energy it's made of energy so it is living i know that sounds strange but it's it's reality it's true and um they can everything can choose everything basically has this agency so um so basically, you, you would just ask for the frequency. You would say, um, I'm asking for the, the frequencies to be sent out or to surround my camp or to surround my home or to surround my property or to be used on my property or however you're trying to apply it. You would just say, I want, um, you know, you would ask the angels in the name of Jesus Christ to... Um, apply or send out the frequencies to keep, you know, the rattlesnakes away or to keep the black widow spiders away or whatever. But when you do this, you have to do it in faith, knowing that when you're asking, it's being done. Okay. So, um, so that's a little bit about that. And then, so they wanted me to explain energy work a little bit too. So also, um, they want you to really start doing energy work over your food and your water and to be doing energy work on yourselves as far as releasing plague and virus, um, and time capsules. So these are just some simple things. So when you pray over your food, um, I know a lot of my viewers pray over or my subscribers, my, my would be friends in Christ pray over their food. And so you would just, um, you would ask that, um, you would ask that any and all weapons of war, named and unnamed, including time capsules, um, to and toxins, venoms, and poisons, any weapons of war that are within the food or the water or whatever you're drinking, you know, if it's a hopefully it's not a soda because it's really bad for you but if it's a soda or whatever um um that you would just ask and if it's vitamins as well or if it's um, medications you have to take or even if it's you know you're, you're having to get intravenous medications whatever's being put into your body you would ask this over. You would say before before you ingest it or before it's put into your body, you would ask that all the weapons of war would be deactivated and rendered useless and harmless against your body and that the food would be able to nourish your body. Um, the water, you can ask for it to be turned into living water and that um, any of the medications you're taking you would ask the same thing, that all the weapons of war, time capsules, um, any weapons of war named and unnamed um, would be deactivated, um, rendered useless and harmless against you, and that, um, and that uh, all the 
um, good components of the um, medication or whatever it is that you're taking um, or ingesting would be able to give you um, what you need from it that you would be able to get the good components um, or the good nourishment from the food but not the toxins and venoms because believe me in everything out there that we are ingesting at this point it everything every bit of it I know that sounds extreme but every bit of it has weapons of war or toxins or venoms or poisons in it meant to harm us that that's why um, our nation is so physically, people are so physically sick. A hundred years ago, they weren't, but they are now. So think about that and think about why. Um, but anyway, um, so that is um, simple, but very useful and very important. They're saying um, energy work that you can do. Okay. And then, um, you, when you're saying your daily prayers or whenever, you know, you can ask, um, same thing that any plague energy, virus energy, um, or dark, um, weapons of war time capsules within your body or your energy body or your spirit body, um, that they can, would all also be deactivated and released now, you ask for all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ, okay? Um, so, like, you're never bypassing Jesus Christ or Heavenly Father because energy work, um, the way that I've come to understand it, basically is prayer, okay? But it's just you have to know what to ask for, and you, you're dealing directly with the angelic realm. What does that mean? Okay, that means that you are asking directly the angels that have charge over you to protect you, um, watch out for you, to heal you, um, and all these things, you're asking them directly to do these things. So it, it comes down to this. Do we believe the scriptures? Okay. Do we believe, um, that there's, you know, order in God's kingdom and, um, and do we believe that I made notes on this? I'm getting kind of out of order here, but okay. So in the scriptures, um, you know, we're taught knock and it shall be opened. Ask and you, you shall receive. Um, and so basically with energy work, you're asking for your angels and some of them are ancestors, some of them are guardian angels, there's different angels, um, and you're asking, you know, your angels of light, those who, you know, have charge over you um, since birth, um, or the ones that are with you now, because sometimes they change, like, you can have different ancestors at different times in your life, that's another conversation, but um, you're, you're asking them directly in that moment to to do whatever it is you're asking for so you're you're asking them in that moment so just like when you say a prayer and you're asking for help with something you know and you're praying for something um and you feel that peace of the holy spirit come over you um knowing and then you know you let it go you know that you know it's going to be taken care of and um that um that your prayers will be answered. Okay. So energy work is basically just, just going straight to the angels right then and asking them to take care of whatever it is you're asking for, to send out the frequencies, for instance, or to deactivate the um, weapons of war within your food or whatever. You're asking for it to be done right in that moment. You're asking in faith, knowing that they're there, knowing that um, they have charge over you, um, according to their mission from Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. Like, they are with you at the direct bequest of Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, okay? So, um, and because of that, now the thing is we have agency. So, 
they will never ever do anything without you asking them unless it's unless your life is going to be cut short and that's not your mission and and you know then they can perform miracles and do things that's another conversation too but generally they do not interfere unless we ask okay because that's its agency it's about our agency so you just you have to ask yourself um do you believe the scriptures do you believe those those things i mentioned in the scriptures um do you believe that you have angels around you because it's about faith okay but i promise you that the more you start to to do this and it is they're saying right now it is a form of spiritual warfare so you know you may ask for um healing of something you know, that you're dealing with, and then you have to do it again. I've had people ask me this. Well, how come when you do energy work, sometimes you have to do it again and again and again, and you have to, well, because, like, all the plague energy we're getting inundated with right now from this COVID and from just all kinds of things, um, they're weapons of war that have been created by the dark side. They're doing it on purpose. They're doing it to make us sick, to make us confused, to make us fearful, um, to make us not complete our missions, you know, and all this other stuff. So, um, so it's just, it's important. Um, I'm sorry, there was a little bit of noise coming from somewhere in my house and it distracted me, but, um, but you know, it's about faith. It's about knowing that your angels are there with you and knowing that when you ask them to complete a task, you know, they're, they're with you. Because they are, you know, the, you know, that saying on the errand of angels, um, the errands of angels are on the errand of angels. Well, they are, they are with you at the direct request of Heavenly Father and the Savior. So, um, that is their job is to, is to, um, when you ask to, to give it to you. When you're asking for healing or, you know, for energy work and whatnot, yep. different things, or to send out the frequencies or to deactivate the weapons of war or to clear the plague energy from your body and to clear the viruses from your body, you are asking them, you're giving them permission to work on your physical body and your spiritual layers to do this right then in that moment, okay? Um, so it just, it kind of, they're saying that it just kind of expedites things, okay? Um, and I know for me, and I know for you, the more you do this kind of stuff, you'll start to feel the energy move. Just like when you're, when you're praying and you're talking to Heavenly Father and you feel the confirmation of the Spirit, you know, or the Holy Ghost, um, you will also start to feel, um the energy moving, you'll, you'll get more familiar with it. And it's kind of a peaceful feeling. Sometimes it's kind of a swirling sensation. It just depends. Um, but you'll get familiar with how you feel it and you'll feel the strength and power of it. You'll, you'll feel that you'll start to understand what energy work is and that it basically is prayer, but it's just, um, it's like instantaneous prayer. They just said, if that makes, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, I feel like I'm not explaining it very well, but hopefully you guys all kind of understand what I'm, what I'm saying. Um, but you, you will feel the more you do it, you'll start to feel the energies move. They just want you to know that, um, you'll start to feel the energies of what the, the, the light, spirit realm the angels are doing for you you'll start to feel that um okay and let's see what else um oh they said that you'll start to become familiar with that feeling like you're familiar with the feeling of the holy spirit um okay um and then you know i always ask um, the Savior or Heavenly Father 
to allow the angels that have charge over me to do these things for me, you know, so it is, it's, it's prayer, energy work, spiritual warfare, prayer, it's all kind of, it's all one and the same thing. Um, uh, so, and the more you, the more you work with it, the more you, you know, believe it, the more you feel it, the more you will believe it. And the more you believe it, the more you will feel it. It's kind of, you know, this circle. Um, um, and again, it all comes down to faith. Um, but even, you know, the faith of a mustard seed, they're saying, like, just asking your angels to do it, it it's done. When you ask, you receive. So, okay. Um... Uh, what else do they, I'm looking at the notes I put in my phone. Uh, they want you to know the, the war is very real. Um, and that this is why they're wanting me to convey some of these, um, uh, energetic prayer techniques or, you know, energy work, um, techniques. Um, cause anybody can do energy work. It's just, you know, whether you feel so inclined to do it or you want to learn to do it and whatnot. Um, it's just, it's about faith, you know, um, and, and we all have different missions, but it is a form of spiritual warfare. So it is something that all of us need to, to basically learn how to do to ascend. Um, so anyway, um, let's see. I heard Julie Rose say one time, and it's always stuck with me, they're just reminding me of this, that you can't get into the celestial realms without without knowing how to do spiritual warfare. And I, I believe that because, you know, the adversary and his minions are always going to try to stop you from, from attaining um, the higher realms, and um, you have to know how to defend yourself, don't you? I mean, you, you have to. So, I mean, yeah, spiritual warfare is a real thing. Um, okay, so enough on that subject. Um, they wanted me to update you on uh, my rifle situation for a reason, and I'll explain that in a second. So basically, um, I for those of you who listened to my other videos about what a task it was getting my rifle ordered and through North 40 and everything. Um, well, somebody dropped the ball and I don't know if it was the store that was sending it or the store that I ordered it from, um, or whatnot, but basically they dropped the ball and I called them yesterday and I've called them twice since I ordered it. They assured me everything was fine. Called them yesterday and, oh yeah, sorry, that gun's not coming, blah, 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 blah. So I raised a big stink with the store manager and then I got the number for corporate and told him I was going to be calling corporate myself. Um, and I was pretty annoyed and, um, and kind of in my mind, I was kind of like, wow, guys, I thought you helped me with this, you know, which is, that's horrible. I'm being honest though. I'm human and I make mistakes. Okay. So Anyway, about 15 minutes, when I say, guys, I thought you helped me with this, I'm talking about the angels, because literally it was a big deal to get corporate to approve the transfer from one North 40 to another across state lines, because apparently they're not supposed to be doing that anymore. Um, but anyway, um, I did get help from the angelic realm, and it did happen. We got permission, but somebody dropped the ball. So... Within 15 minutes of me, you know, talking to the manager and making a big stink about it and telling him I was going to call corporate myself and that they better figure out who dropped the ball and that they, you know, needed to go online and start searching and try to find me this gun at a different store because they're really hard to find right now, this particular rifle. And um, he called me back within 15 minutes and... He let me know that they did find it at a different store in Washington and that um, he was extremely sorry. He doesn't know what happened, but that it is going to be shipped to me and that he's going to um, contact me um, daily and let me know the progress. So I was very happy 
And then right after I got off the phone with him, um, the angels, my angels very clearly let me know um, that everything happens with purpose and that the adversary did have his hands all over this situation to keep me from getting this rifle and that um, they allowed it to happen for a reason. And the reason that they allowed it to happen, and see, this is the thing. This is part of the spiritual war. The light side is always 10 steps ahead of the dark side. So the dark side thought, ha ha, we're not going to let her get this rifle. And the light side went, yep, that's right. Yeah, you're winning. Ha ha, okay. But basically, they let me know that they allowed this to happen because the rifle I would have gotten from that particular store would have malfunctioned on me in some way. They didn't say when or how, they just said that it would have had malfunctioning issues. And so they, even though the dark side had their hands all over it, they allowed them to do it because it was for a greater purpose to allow it to happen. And they said the gun that I am getting now will not have these malfunctioning issues. So my whole point in saying all of this <laughs> Um, was that they just wanted to let you guys know that, um, not to sweat the small stuff and that, um, there's a reason behind everything and that the light side is in always in charge. And especially if we ask for help with something, they're always going to do it in a way that we may not understand right at that moment. Or we may think, oh my gosh, I thought you were helping me. And now it looks like everything's falling apart. It's, they're saying, don't do that. Don't get all upset. Just know that, you know, Heavenly Father and the angelic realm is always, they always know what's going on on the light side. It's part of the war. And, um, and they will always, um, they always have your best interest at heart. So, and they're saying, they also said, like, Sometimes, you know, when people are running late and they get all stressed out or annoyed because they're running late for an appointment, something made them late, you know, like they couldn't find their keys or, you know, whatever, whatever. It could be anything. Um, and then they're all frustrated. They might be angry because maybe, you know, whatever. They're saying, you know, don't do that because you never know what blessings are behind that. Like, you could get side, you could have gotten sideswiped had you not, had you been able to leave, you know, on time or find your keys or whatever it was. Um, you know, you could have gotten hurt or injured or there could have been an accident that you could have been involved in. And there's just all these things. They want you to know that they are literally protecting and orchestrating, you know, when you're praying daily, especially like, they're always, they're, their hands are in everything, they're saying right now. Their hands are in everything. At the request of Heavenly Father and through your prayers, they're always orchestrating everything for your highest good. And so they're, they're literally saying right now, don't sweat the small stuff. You, you can't always see the big picture. You just need to trust that everything is working out for your highest good. So, um... So yeah, so that was, um, they're saying everything is always divinely orchestrated. So we'll leave that there. Oh, last thing. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. Um, last thing, they want you, if you have never seen the movie 17 Miracles or Ephraim's Rescue, or if you've seen them but you haven't seen them in a long time, they would like you to revisit these movies um, and watch them. And really pay attention to the miracles that are portrayed in them. They want you to know that these movies are based on fact, not fiction. That the miracles that are portrayed in them really did happen. And that we will see miracles such as this and and far greater than this um, in the future, in the coming years. So... They just don't want us to be full of fear or anxiety um, and just know that um, everything is always divinely orchestrated. The light side um, is always um, 
eons ahead of the dark side and we just have to have faith and be at peace in this knowledge and um i say all these things in the name of jesus christ i hope you all have a great evening amen